An elementary school in Elgin will be closed through Monday. The problem, mold discovered in a classroom that spread. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross is live in Elgin with the latest on the effort to reopen this building. Jeremy. Well, good evening, Rob. Good evening, Erica. The school district telling us the school right behind us was in fact inspected back in August, but weather and other factors between now and then causing the problem we're talking to you about now. A problem Cruels will address not only tomorrow, but throughout the weekend. Houses are plaqued, stating that, you know, they were built in the late 1800s. Some are drawn to Elgin for its old world charm, but workers with industrial dryers and dehumidifiers are drawn to Coleman Elementary, due in part to the age and composition of the building. That school is no exception. It was built, that portion of it was in the 1950s. Because it's full of wood paneling, and so that wood is, is where most of the problem lies. District CEO Tony Sanders says late Wednesday they decided to close the school due to the scope of mold discovered. Tag it. It was first found in Matthew's second grade classroom. All right, it stays here. His mom, Elaine Moore, says it's spread to common areas like the hallway. Why can't I do it? <laughs> She's part of hundreds of families taking time off work due to the closure. It's my vacation time. Not really planned. It's not usually not a, a, a health risk for most students unless they have uh, pre-existing conditions. Kids have asthma. There are children with cystic fibrosis. If you consider the ramifications of mold and how it inflames lungs and those soft tissues, it can be detrimental. The district citing a rainy summer followed by humid stretches as factors for the problem. <laughs> Moore says she doesn't have enough vacation time to cover the length of the closure, problem that could be costly for her and for the district to fix. But for the safety of all students and staff, we're just going to close the building until we can have it done. For telling us that there's no reports of anyone getting sick because of this issue. Again, school will be out through this upcoming Monday. The district saying that should be enough time to address the mold and monitor air quality inside the building. Live in Elgin, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. The child care, a big issue there, Jeremy, no question. Thanks. Well,